What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next question, what we gotta do is we gotta take this expression here and we have to simplify it. And the simplified form has to have all positive exponents. So we got negative two x to the negative two, y to the negative three in brackets, all to the power of negative three. Now there's different ways that you can actually go about this. So I'll show you two different ways that you can do it. Personally, when I get something like this, first thing I like to do is I like to take the inner bracket, the innermost bracket, and simplify it as much as possible. And so what I would do is I would take this and simplify it in terms of making these exponents positive. Notice we have x to the negative 2, y to the negative 3. So we can take this bracket, the negative 2 would stay up top, but then x to the negative 2, y to the negative 3, we can bring down to the denominator and that would change it to positive exponents. And then we'd still have that negative 3 outside. Now, when you have a fraction to the power of a negative exponent, what you can do is you could take the fraction and then flip it. And then the exponent would be positive. And then this negative here, we can, um, you know what, I'll just keep the negative in the denominator for now and then at the end we could put it in the numerator. So from here what can happen, by the way let me uh, just mention the rules that I'm using here. So whenever you have a fraction to a negative exponent you could take the fraction, flip it, and then the exponent would be positive. And then the next step from here is you could take that exponent and distribute it to the numerator and the denominator. So what we can do is we would take the whole numerator to the power of 3 and then we would take the whole denominator to the power of 3 like that. And then notice when you have two expressions multiplying by each other you can take both expressions to that exponent that's on the outside, the two expressions that are multiplying within the bracket. So this we can rewrite as x to the 2 to the power of 3 and y to the 3 to the power of 3 all over negative 2 to the power of 3 and then this would be x to the 6, y to the 9, negative 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8 and then as I mentioned uh, we could take that negative put it up top. And that's going to be all over 8, like that. So this here ends up being the final answer. And notice that the exponents are now positive, right? So this and this are the exact same thing. So that's one way you can go about it. Personally, that's the way I would do it. Another way is you can actually use this rule. Notice we're multiplying everything right out of the bat. So you can take this negative 3 and distribute it, quote unquote, to all the terms. So you could have negative 2 to the power of negative 3, and then you'd have x to the negative 2 to the power of negative 3, then you'd have y to the negative 3 to the power of negative 3, like that. And then notice here, what can happen is uh, negative 2 to the power of negative 3, that would be like 1 over negative 2 to the power of positive 3, if we want to change that to a positive exponent. Here we can bring this down, but because these are both negatives, we could just multiply them. So that would end up being x to the 6. Notice we get a positive exponent. Here we'd have y to the 9. And then notice that this would be 1 over negative 8. Negative 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8. We got x to the 6, y to the 9. This is actually another format that you may see the answer in maybe on a multiple choice test, but this and this are the exact same thing. If we combine them into one, it would be like this, right? So maybe even this process has a few less steps, but usually just in general, this process is going to be better when you have more complex things to simplify. You always want to try to simplify that inner bracket first. More often than not, that's going to uh, have less steps. Maybe in this specific question, this way would have been quicker. But just personally, in general, when I get something like this, I always try to simplify the bracket first and then bring that outer 
or deal with that outer exponent, right? But whichever way you do it, you end up getting the same answer. And then just be careful with different formats that could come up. This is another format that this answer can be in.